Chachos, welcome here. I'm in my kitchen, which is a little bit more of an echoey area versus the rest of my house, but honestly, I love filming in my kitchen. It's great. I also, I have a little spot right here. Put my vegan eggnog. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I am going to be discussing a bunch of companies and brands that have reached out to me, which is always cool. I want to really stress that. I am always thankful when brands reach out to me and want to work with me. That's very, very important as an influencer. And I get a lot of income from working with brands and those opportunities are also just so cool and ridiculously exciting. But I do get a lot of brands that reach out to me that honestly, I don't want to work with. In this video, I'm going to share some of those brands with you and also just say why. I know a lot of people could be like, oh my goodness, like, are you sure you want to do this kind of video? I'm completely sure. And the reason I want to go ahead and do this video is because I want to encourage you guys to educate yourselves on the brands that you are supporting and purchasing things from. Years and years ago, I bought anything from anywhere and I didn't care because I didn't know. Buying certain clothes, chocolates, nuts, all that stuff. Stuff, I just bought it and I didn't care because I didn't realize the stories behind these items. I kind of want to spell a little bit of that out in today's video, but also at the same time, you guys will find some of these things actually mildly hilarious because there has been certain companies that have reached out to me and it's like, how in the world do you think I can feature your product and make it seem not insane? <laughs> so I'm going to be covering some of those as well. If you shop at any of these places, if you support any of these companies, this is not me dissing you or trying to make you feel like crap for just buying certain things and shopping at certain places. Everybody has different convictions. Everybody has different ways of doing different things in order to better people and the earth and I think that's cool. I've said this in a previous video, it's not some people doing everything, it's just everyone doing some things and that's what makes a huge impact. So this is kind of just maybe how I would like to make an impact. So thank you for being here, thank you for watching. I love you guys, be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I just gotta give a shout out to all the companies who send me messages that go something along the lines of this. Hi Sarah Therese, and they misspell my name so that's a bad start. We create high quality socks and would love to give you a pair in exchange for a dedicated YouTube video. Did you just hear what I said? I get this email all the time about socks, about facial stuff, about jade rollers, about teeth whitening kits. I refuse to do a dedicated video pretty much on anything unless it's something that I truly believe in. I've used it for years. I can think of a couple times I've done dedicated videos and it's not like, oh, let's just do a dedicated video. It is thought through, it is processed, and I know I've used this product for years, therefore I have no issue talking about it. You know what I mean? I'm not doing a dedicated video on socks. Let's just say that once and for all. Girls not doing a dedicated video on socks. <laughs> Please, Gumby, stop sending me these emails. It crowds my inbox. It crowds that poor little inbox. Let me also just state, uh, a lot of the time I actually do respond back to these companies and say, this is why I would not work with you. This is what I don't really agree with when it comes to your brand, your products, your workers, your work conditions, your work benefits. I don't agree with that, therefore I will not work with you. I don't think it's good just to delete an email and forget about it unless you've already emailed that person and said no, because I get continuous emails like over and over and over and it's like, I already told you guys. I said no and I gave you my reasons why. It's very annoying when they continually email you. I've only had one brand and it was Joe Fresh and I'll talk about them in a little bit, but Joe Fresh, I emailed them saying why I would not work with them and the woman emailed me back being like I completely understand don't even worry about it stay true to your convictions and I was like whoa doesn't even sound like you agree with what they do so that was actually very interesting and I think very respectful of them to do. Cup She Bathing Suit Brand. I can't get over how many times these people email me. I've gotten hundreds of emails from Cup She. It's crazy, it's crazy. I will not work with them for a few reasons. Firstly, their bathing suits just aren't made properly in a lot of ways. They're firstly made in a sweatshop by people that are mistreated, underpaid, no benefits, extreme work hours. Like imagine being a mama and having four kids and you have have to work 14 hour days and these kids have to sit on a mat by your sewing machine 
while you work 14 hours and you're also in fear of not showing up to your shift because people have been raped or hurt or murdered over not showing up for their shift at a sweatshop. That is brutally sad. Anyone who's a mama can fully kind of almost grasp that idea of fear and trying to protect your children and provide for them at the same time. What a scary situation to be in. So I will not work with them for that reason. Also, I will not buy cheap bathing suits. Cheap five, six, seven, ten dollar bathing suits is not on my agenda. That is not me being like a Chris. That's me knowing a good quality bathing suit from a bad one. Good quality bathing suits stay on my body, look good, aren't see-through, very comfortable, last for years, and then cheap bathing suits is the opposite of all those things. I just will not work with them. Nor will you really find me working with any bathing suit company that just is kind of, let's just say this, they're not like Albion Fit. Albion Fit has great swimsuits, all my swimsuits are from them. They are such a solid brand and they're made ethically, come on. Next, let's just talk about Joe Fresh. So soon after Elizabeth was born, Joe Fresh came to me and they emailed me asking if I would promote their Sprouts line. Their Sprouts line is a line made for babies, which is why they did this when Elizabeth was still very little. I sent an email saying, I don't agree with your sweatshops, uh, your workers, how they're paid, all that stuff. They also had a building collapse because it was not properly maintained and they're cheap as heck over there when it comes to their sweatshops and people die died, died, children died here. And Joe Fresh is just continuing to manufacture their clothes as they have done previously, as I've looked into that. That's very, very brutal. And I spoke to the lady and I said all these things. And again, like I said, she was like, don't worry about it, completely understand, stay true to your convictions. And I was like, thank you. That was very cool to hear that from someone. Like too many times I get people being like, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, you know what? Like most of them like it. Like I've had people being like, they like working in a sweatshop and it's like, that's really sad. That's really sad. So anyway, I'll not work with Joe Fresh nor any other type of sweatshop made unethical clothing. Just a conviction, I don't agree with it. Hair extensions. I can't tell you the amount of time that I have from Luxie Hair, Bellamy, Remy, these hair extensions. People are dying for me to put hair extensions in my hair. And I'm not gonna lie, I am so close to saying yes to one of these companies so I can actually make them a video and be like, there you go. This needs to stop. Like, are you kidding me? I cut my hair short so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Could you imagine me taking time to put in hair extensions and also just how hilarious it would be because like my hair is way too short. You could stick some up here, but they're wanting me to do like 20 inch hair extensions. You gotta be crazy. It's kind of like, do you even watch my videos? Like, do you even watch me? Do you know who I am? Or do you just have my email and you're like, Sarah, that's a girl's name. She must have long hair. Next, and this is actually something I am very, very serious and strict about on my channel. Skinny Mint Teamy Fit Tees, please stop emailing me. I don't agree with your products. I don't agree with these girls that are fasting or starving themselves or having your tea instead of a meal. Girls have enough to worry about. Don't bring their weight into it. And you know what? That shouldn't even be an issue. And the idea of girls, because there are, girls will do this, whether it's promoted or not by these brands. I've seen it promoted in wording on their website. I don't know if it's there anymore, but encouraging people to skip on meals, half their meals, and have tea instead. This is not okay. This is not safe. This is not healthy. Most of my audience is between the age of 18 and 26, but I still have younger people watching. I don't think anyone, no matter what their age is, needs to hear that they need to start drinking more skinny mint tea in order to lose weight and that they have to stop eating proper meals. Not okay, not on my watch. We have enough stuff to deal with. Let's not think about starving ourselves in order to look like someone else. Let's just love ourselves. If we focus on loving ourselves, we're gonna be way better, way better. Tea people, Stop it. I love tea. I'll go to the store and I'll buy myself some organic tea. It's like three bucks a box. It's just as good as your tea. I don't care. Stop doing this, especially to young girls. Not cool. Take a sip of my drink. I'm getting heated. <laughs> Next is AliExpress and Wish. All those kind of websites that need to just fall down into the cracks of the earth and just be like <laughs> lit up in fire by molten lava. These sites are just full of lies. They're not true, it's not cool. I don't appreciate these websites. <sighs> 
we are getting another storm. Seriously, every single time, it has to somewhat storm. Filming in the summer is so much easier. <laughs> I remember when I was like 16, spending like $200 on one of these sites being like, this is a full new wardrobe, I'm so excited, let's do this. Everything is made unethically, let's say that, like once and for all. And it is made just horribly. The pictures that you see, it's not the same as what you get. It's gypped, it's a ripoff. And also, my dad introduced me to this show on Netflix called Broken. It's like the beauty industry and how people make the fake cosmetics. Oh my goodness, that are sold on like Wish and AliExpress. You guys need to watch it. It's disgusting. It's gross. Like, oh, it is so gross. I don't agree with these websites. If I want to buy something, I have no issue spending way more money than $2 on it. I'm here for quality, guys. I'm here for quality. I'm here for make. I'm here for a long-lasting product, not something that lasts not even as long as a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Next is a waist trainer. Again, why is this a thing? I've given birth to three children, and I did the belly band after every single one because my intestines were just falling out. It was very uncomfortable, so I used a belly band for about two weeks, not even, postpartum after giving birth to them, and it felt great. It was not to train my waist and restructure my body. It was just to push my intestines back into place. But these young, I've seen young girls wear these waist trainers wanting to look like rich and famous. No way. You will never see me talking about a waist trainer on my channel. I'm not here to make people feel like crap or horrible. I'm here to educate people about stuff that actually goes on in the world, which I think it is important to know about. But I don't want to force anyone to think they have to do something a certain way or look a certain way. Ever. And then we also need to realize God's grace in all of this. It showers down on us every single day, which is absolutely beautiful. So let's also just be reminded of that. In all these things, the Lord's grace. Next is non-clean beauty makeup brands. There's a lot of them. When I used to be a beauty guru back in the day, I was sponsored and given so much of this makeup by different brands. Not anymore because I just made that switch. I just decided I didn't want heavily fragranced products. Uh, I didn't want products with metal and other yucky things in them that are bad for my skin, therefore my body, because we absorb everything around us and everything on us. I decided to do clean beauty for my skin. Just personally for me, my skin is too sensitive and too opinionated <laughs> to have like a drugstore product. I need to go somewhere that's very organic or local, small batches, like that kind of thing. Mineral, but no mineral oil, like the, that kind of, like bare mineral love bare minerals I love Jane Iredell I'm just getting into cover effects because they actually have so much clean beauty products next this one may be a little bit weird. Counselors. I've had so many like counselor services, like counseling services email me and wanting me to mention them in a video and talk about them. And you know what? I feel like that's something very personal. I feel like that's something so deep. Uh, in someone that it should be really kind of up to them and at the same time I don't think having a phone call or an online chat is as effective or as intimate as sitting down with someone one-on-one -on -one and looking at their face and talking there. All this online counseling stuff, I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people benefit from it, but for me it's not something I want to talk about and promote on my channel, especially because I've never done it. I've had premarital counseling and that was with our pastor and that was face to face, very beneficial. And, and then even more into that, I'm a Christian and I don't want to encourage other people to seek um, help that is other than from a pastor or a Christian or someone that just loves the Lord because they base everything that they're saying off the Bible. And, and it's quite beautiful how the Bible is used to better people's lives. So that's how I just think as a Christian, I'm not saying if you don't go to a Christian counselor that you're doing something wrong. Personally, I want to promote Christian counselors. I think focus on the family. They have a bunch of great Christian counselors that are very loving and cool. But all the same, I just, it's not something that I want to promote here on my channel and thank you for understanding. I guess you guys just deserve a face-to-face -face 
versus an online chat room kind of feel. Next is meal services. I get a lot of these and to be honest, when I first started getting them, I was very excited. It was like chef's plate, HelloFresh, there's a bunch of them. This is my thing for the, for the meal kits. Firstly, I think they're cool. I think they're a great idea. But for me, I love going to my local market. I love going to the store picking things out on my own and cooking with them. I just really like doing that versus someone delivering that to me. I know a lot of people say it's a great time saver, it's easy for them to do. Honestly, if I need a time saver, I'm just gonna do like dine and dash or skip the dishes and just get someone to deliver something to my house if I need it, you know? And instead of me preparing it, just get someone else to prepare it and bring it to me ready to go. Again, I'm not against the meal kit services, a great idea, but one of the main reasons I do not want to be sponsored by them yet is because I'm going to do a mom versus meal kit video. I need to get cracking on that. I'm so excited to do that video. I can, can even snap there. Boom! So excited to do that video. Let me know if you're excited to see that video because that will be a really good one. Lastly is Bath & Body Works. I've had a couple emails from Bath & Body Works wanting to do some sort of a collab. The amount of fragrance uh, that is in Bath & Body Works, all their candles, all their sprays, all their lotions, are so dangerous. I don't know if you watched the documentary, it's called Stink. It talks about just artificial perfumes and fragrances, which that is the foundation of Bath & Body Works. It is so dangerous. And they did a test on a newborn baby, like they cut the cord and they took some of the blood out of the cord. The amount of toxic perfume, fragrance, chemicals in the baby's bloodstream was actually like is that a deer? It was lethal and it's absolutely scary. Fragrance leads to a ton of different things like cancer, infertility, miscarriages. So brutally sad. The amount of people that still do it, it's fine. You know, if you go ahead and do it, it's fine. But this is something where I just don't feel safe breathing this in or putting this on my body. Uh, I love things that are naturally made to smell awesome. Like there's nothing like that fresh orange squeezed into a lotion and lathered on your body. So good. Essential oil can candles, just better natural, more healthy choices, especially with me having a bunch of little kids running around. It's a really good way that I keep them safe, but then also protect me and Kieran. <laughs> this whole video, I've been like leaning back in my chair. Also, if you're curious, this is, look how cute this is. This is my Cody crop top. I can link it down below if you're interested in purchasing it. I actually wanna wear it with like a super high-waisted like maxi skirt or something, but Cody Lynn from Creative Wife Joyful Worker created this with Kindred & Co. and all of her earnings are going towards Mamas for Mamas, which is very cool. So if you're interested in this, I just talked about it on my Instagram, I can put a link to it down below. But anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and also thank you for understanding. No I know sometimes these videos can be a little bit hard to watch, maybe a little bit hard to take in. I hope you don't feel judged or made bad about some of the things that maybe you do or now have purchased from. I just want to encourage you guys to educate yourselves. Every dollar is a vote to what you believe in. And when you shop, I just encourage you to shop with companies and brands that you believe in. And I think that's very cool. I think also we're all different and that's super cool as well. So thank you for being here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.